Hello everybody, this is Evan Rogers coming at you with an NHK listening. We have an NHK announcer today and she is blasting out a full speed, somewhat difficult vocabulary, but actually kind of, well, I don't know about basic grammar, but um, relatively simple grammar, relatively, relatively simple grammar. It's the best grammar. All right, I'll just be dumb. All right, let's not be dumb. <laughs> that might be better than let's be dumb. <laughs> All right. Here is what she says. It's going to be a short one. In case you didn't hear this whole part right there, I do not blame you. She slurs that like, or I don't know. She actually says every single sound. But goodness gracious, does she say it quickly. Let's hear just that one little part as much as, as best we can. It's going to happen a few times, so get ready. Yeah, did you hear she said to de no? She said to de no. Let's listen one more time. It's difficult to hear. But let's go ahead and break down the grammar. All right, so what she said is yo ni shimasho. This ending, especially after a verb, means let's behave in a fashion of. So you should behave in that fashion. Yo ni naru kind of means like it became that way. It is that way. It has become that way. And feel how that isn't transitive. No one's making that decision. No one's acting in that way. However, the pattern of yo ni suru is to act in that way. Okay? So what's interesting about that, which so far you're probably not that impressed, but this might blow your mind. Naru, narimas, and suru, shimas, are transitive, intransitive pairs in this way. If something becomes something, then it just sort of happens. But if I suru something, if I do something, then I'm acting to a, make an effect, an affect, an affect on the world. I think it's A F F E C T there. So in that situation and in this grammar pattern, naru and suru are transitive, intransitive pairs. It's very interesting in my own humble opinion. But that might just be me, the bald guy with the weird headphones. All right, so we have. So what should we be trying to do? We should be trying to. Hikairu. Hikairu is to avoid. What are we trying to avoid? We are trying to avoid menkai o hikairu yo ni shimasho. So the masho ending, let's, or we shall behave in a fashion of avoiding interviews and one-on-one uh, -on -one interviews, uh, 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 close conversations is kind of what they mean here. Let's just listen to that part right there before we get into that shisatsu thing. Menkai o hikairu yo ni shimasho. Hopefully you could hear everything. Here she is again. Alright, that is that. Here comes the tricky thing. These menkais, which I should be able to highlight, there we go. These menkais are being described by a no particle, uh, which I'm trying to only highlight that, there you go. Which lets us know that there are nouns modifying it. Because, well, nouns and no adjectives are modifying it. But really these are nouns. So, byoin is one of those nouns, which means hospital or clinic. Ya yeah, and things like shisetsu. So hospitals and things like shisetsu, we've said it a million times, ya yeah is just like the toe particle, except we're not making a complete list. So it's things like. The toe particle tells you these things specifically. Right, a shisetsu has a few meanings, but in this situation we're talking about old people. So it is an elderly home. The facility, which almost sounds like the pooper. <laughs> All right, so the byoin yashisetsu are the nouns that no is linking to menkai. So 
interviews that are being somehow linked to old folks' homes and uh, and and clinics slash hospitals. How is it being linked? So usually our brains have to make that jump. They put a dead particle there, which helps us make that jump. Dead tells you where the lo the action would be happening. So Bioin, yes, yeah, she sets a dead. So at the locations of Bioin and she sets us, she sets. I almost said Shin Setsu. It's not Shin Setsu. It's she sets. Sorry if I have been saying Shin Setsu. Excuse me. Bioin, yeah, she sets a dead. So. At old folks' homes and hospitals, clinics, and the sort of locations like that, no men guys. Interviews, interviews that are at, that happen at, that take place at, that's that de. Interviews that take place at the Shisetsu and Bioin are how we modify the men guys. So that's what's going on there. Bioin, yes, Shisetsu, de. And then because these are nouns, no men guy. Instead of saying de suru menkai or de uh, whatever the verb would be to have an interview at these locations, they're just using the no particle. Totally fine. And that's pretty much it. It says, let's try to avoid, let's behave in a fashion of avoiding. You should try to behave in a fashion of avoiding interviews that take place at old folks' homes and hospitals and clinics and the sort. One more time. Let's listen to that whole thing. Biyoin-ya-shitsu-de-no-men-kai-o-hikai-ru-yo-ni-shimashou. Let's just hear the she sets a de no part real quick one more time. She sets a de no. 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 That's how it that's how it sounds. That's how it sounds. She sets a de no. Something like that. She's obviously got better intonation and pitch and uh, pronunciation than me, but that is what's going on there. The she sets a de no. She sets a de no. She sets a de no. Okay, I'll stop doing that. That's gotta be annoying. All right, let's listen to the whole sentence one last time. Bioin ya she sets a de no menkai o hikairu yo ni shimashou. Bioin ya she sets a de no menkai o hikairu yo ni shimashou. I hope that helps. This is pretty basic, except the vocabulary and listening to that is very difficult. I hope you had a happy, dappy day. Leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Peace out.